All right, uh, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to One Class. Uh, my name is Kevin, and today I'm going to be teaching some economics. A little bit of a background about me. Um, I hold both a bachelor's and a master's degree in economics. I also work as an economist. Uh, what I'm going to be doing today is going through uh, some questions that you guys have asked. Our junior tutors have answered them. I'm going to add anything that I think is relevant um, and basically anything else that I think would be helpful. Uh, we can get started here. I'm only streaming to 1 o'clock, so just half an hour today. We've only got five or six questions lined up, but I'm sure I'll be back on tomorrow or sometime this week if I didn't get to the question you asked. So it gets working here. First question, what does it mean for a variable to be pro-cyclical and lagging versus counter-cyclical and leading? Which, if any, of these two variables would you look at today to see if real GDP will be above trend in the near future? So we've got pro-cyclical. And we've got counter-cyclical. And our junior tier has said that a pro-cyclical or a pro-cyclic indicator is one that moves in the same direction as that of the economy. That's the key takeaway here, that it moves in the same direction. Uh, examples of this are things like GDP. Um, they said... The variable will have an increasing value if the economy booms, and during times of recession or any downturn, the value of the variable will start decreasing. So GDP is an economic indicator that can be cited as an example of a pro-cyclical economic variable. Excellent answer by your junior tutor. A lagging indicator is a lagging economic indicator is one that does not move forward until a few quarters after the economy has changed. As the name indicates, uh, the improvement will be lagging or slow. So uh, often when something happens in the economy, the effects aren't felt right away, um, but typically further down the line, either like a couple uh, quarters later or whatnot. Uh, it is for this reason that a lot of economic models include lagged variables. So they'll not only include, say, they're using GDP as a variable. They won't only use uh, the current period GDP. They'll also use maybe sometimes the period before, sometimes several periods before, um, to help account for uh, any lags from the indicators. Countercyclical, on the other hand, is a variable that moves in the opposite direction as out of the economy. So an example of this could be like, uh, like the unemployment rate, for example, like if the economy's in a boom, probably more people are working, there are more jobs, uh, the unemployment goes low, whereas when the economy contracts, gets smaller, we will see unemployment rise, so there are less jobs. Uh, a variable that moves in the opposite direction is that of the economy is called a pro-cyclical economic indicator. I think they meant counter-cyclical there. For example, as the economy is getting worse or poorer, the unemployment rate is increasing uh, or increasing. Good example of the unemployment rate that's bang on. Uh, basically during booms, the economy does well. Unemployment rate falls during bus, the economy is suffering, the unemployment rate goes up, less people have jobs. Lead indicator are indicators or variables that change even before the economy changes. Um, stock markets are classic examples of yield indicators. They tend to rise before the economic boom and decline before the economy crashes. Um, another example of this is a, an inverted yield curve, uh, which will often come before recession. Uh, People tend to freak out a lot when there's an inverted yield curve. Um, and there has never been, let me try to say this right, there's never been a recession 
would have an inverted yield curve happening first, uh, but not every inverted yield curve leads to a recession. And I said that right, yes, I think. So if a variable is pro-cyclical and lagging, it means that the variable is moving in the direction of an economy with indicators progressing slowly. So if I were to draw If the economy is moving like this, um, it might be that because it's lagging, as time increases, this dotted or something. This is time. It happens later. Later on in time, it begins to follow the pattern of the economy. Here's if it's countercyclical. And you know, we've got some kind of boom, then a bust, another boom. Um, instead, so what did we say? Countercyclical and leading. Um, so it would be instead something like this. So I'm going to say so answer that's correct. And we can move.